What's going on, everybody? Not too sure what day this is coming out, and but today's video brought to us by NCN, which is News Channel Nebraska River Country. So, Nebraska City Man swindles sports card buyers. Thousands of dollars lost in fake cards or fraudulent cards. This was actually posted at the February. Sorry, I'm just getting this out today. Been hectic with uh, tax season, getting a lot of other stuff done. And it's just been nuts here. Nuts, nuts, I say. So, let's go down. I need to close this so I can see. Burnt. There we go. So... A Nebraska City man was sentenced Monday to probation in order to pay restitution after defrauding victims in a sports memorabilia card scheme. I will put a link to this article in the description, as always, if you want to look at it. Uh, Nebraska City Police investigation led to charges against Mr. Carlson, 25, for theft by deception. Victims told police that Carlson offered to sell collectible cards but did not send the cards to buyers in Lee Summit, Missouri, or... Oh, I'm not even going to try. Is it Swayze in California? I'm sorry if that's where you live at. I mispronounced it. Doing the best I can. Online buyers were co-coaxed. <laughs> I was going to say coaxed. Wow. Shows that my military still in me. Coaxed into sending valuable cards to Nebraska City on the promise of a trade. But say the trade cards never came. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how many more of these we're going to see like this coming out. In September, the sheriff's office received a call from Unadilla. A victim there had purchased sports cards from Mr. Carlson that found the cards of value were fake or missing. The buyer was out for grand or 4400 after receiving a fake 53 top satchel page, a LeBron James uh, top. So that was his rookie that you guys see in the picture uh, above. 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Star Rookie Card and a 68 Rookie Card with Kuzman and Nolan Ryan on it. I can tell you the page, the LeBron, and the Nolan, very highly faked. Um, 89 Griffey's, there's just so many of them out there. Not too sure with that. Probably just wasn't sent to them. The victim said some of the cards were easily identified as fake as they had blank backs. Wow. But the transaction was made quickly in Unadilla. So the buyer did not have a chance to check the contents of the box. The victim in Missouri told police he sent the cards of value to Mr. Carlson, expecting him to send collectible cards in return, but he never received them. The judge, Miss Julie Smith, told Carlson she is concerned about his ability to complete a term of probation, but said restitution is the be is best enforced while a person is on probation. So probation and pay your people back. Crazy, crazy, but here, this is the breakdown. I'll pull it up here. Um, there's a whole, whole lot of uh, comments, mostly from other scammers out there on there. Because, you know, they always like to put their links. Click here. We're going to take your password, steal all your money type stuff. So be careful anything below this, the five comments. But Mr. Carlson was ordered to pay the man in Missouri $1,350, the man in California $1,800, and the victim from Unadilla theft is owed $4,400. Carlson was ordered to two consecutive 18-month probation terms and 45 days in jail. Good news story, right, guys? They got one. People are going to eventually get their money back. I don't know how long it'll take. Five, ten years for the guy to probably pay it back. But it's a win out there. And the more that people post about you know, being scammed by so-and-so somewhere. Other people probably have, and you can get those joint, uh, what do you want to call them, court case things together to where you all could go after the one person, and they brings all this evidence together to where they can wrap it up, get justice for the stuff, put somebody either behind bars, probation, restitution, whatever it may be out there. It can happen. We've showed in other videos out there. But this is kind of a good news story in a way. Um, it's just it's probably, we don't know when they're going to get their money back, how they're going to get it back. You know, are they taking $100 a month for X amount of months? 36 months, probably be more, less, probably a couple hundred a month. Because there's two 18-month probation terms in there. So three years, basically, probation. A little time in jail. 
But as I said, yeah, don't click any of these links. But you can always read people's interesting comments if you have a good bathroom break, stuff like that there. Here's some pictures of the items that somebody put up there as well, too. But another one solved I, um, to where justice is being served for the good guys, finally. Be to look out for the next video on an Ohio sports card buyer who wrote bad checks. I believe this is an update from another video. I have to do a little more research onto it. But I recall this story. I don't know if it was just, you know, a, a group of us talking about it or if I actually did a video. But be on the lookout for that video coming out next. Other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. I'm out. See you later.